Are you a book trivert? You know, someone who's a little pervert. Oh, wrong crowd. Oh, okay. You know, someone who prefers the company of fictional characters as opposed to real people. Or someone whose energy is renewed through reading. How about the distinct smell of books? The feel, the flipping of the page, the floppiness. Anyone? No, just me? For me, it's the absorbing, brilliant, thought-provoking, timeless, and rich feeling I get from picking up a new book. The rough pages and nostalgic feel help me to reduce stress and have a better perspective on many aspects of my life. I literally feel like I'm in a therapy session right now. It's my therapy, an escape from reality. It's amazing. I get lost. Another amazing thing about building this library is that it gave me an excuse to shop for a new book. So I'm going to be doing a little book haul at the end of this video, kind of giving you some really great binge-worthy, distracting books during these times that can help you. They're just engrossing, beautifully written, and just, I think you're going to love them if you've been wanting to get back into reading. So how did I decide to nurture this passion of mine and bring something to life that I've always dreamed of? You're about to find out. How did it come down to this room? This was the hoarding room. There was wires, there was things everywhere. This had no like specialty to it. There was nothing exciting about coming into this part of my room. I actually had a little tiny little library, but it kept getting overflown. And then I had books like in my nightstand, I had books in my closet, I had books in my purses. It was just all over the place. And I like to take care of my books. The process for this room, I told my dad, I was like, what if we do this? I drew out the concept, the inspiration behind it all. We ended up going to Ikea to purchase a lot of this the hardest challenge was this corner thing look at the butt it's cute Mom. that little corner they didn't really sell it so we just had to just slide it over which is how we made it work and my dad was the mastermind behind all of this so my dad and Dennis were the ones that ended up helping me with this bringing this vision to life this is more than just a one-man team type of thing my dad my mom a friend also helped me jazz will shout out to you she gave me a ton of her books which is where the quickie and some really weird ones that Dennis is like why do you have this in here came from but I'm all love okay I love all kinds of books this was kind of like sporadic between like a month but honestly we could have finished this in I don't know like three days reason being is Ikea didn't have a lot of these shelving so we'd have to wait until they were reordered due to everything happening right now all these little accent pieces aren't necessarily from Target they got good stuff Target Ikea the beautiful art is from one of my favorite artists it's Amanda Oleander she is incredible all her art pieces just speak to me they make me feel something yeah so there's one of like a girl riding a bike and it just reminds me of like easy going Sunday mornings and then there's a girl reading with like nice bed sheets and it just reminds me of that nice feeling after you're done shaving and you just jump into your bed and you pick up your amazing book I just love it the inspiration behind all this actually came from the fact that I spend all my money on books as opposed to clothes, as opposed to makeup. I've always been that kind of person. If you are a nice close friend of mine, you know that that's what I want to get for my birthday. And so Dennis has literally been getting me books for the past 10 years. It's been pretty good. I just feel like books always take you back to a certain time in your life as well. I don't know, I, I'm very attached to my books, so I will not be giving these away. Also was super inspired by Belle from Disney. Disney, Disney? I always say it wrong. You guys always comment below, but you know, I just love how she's one of the only princesses that reads. Like, come on, Disney. Disney, 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 sorry. it's my Hispanic girl coming out. Just that cute chair that she uses. I'm not the only one that's dreamed of a bookstore with a rolling ladder in it, am I? I hope not. And then also, since I just moved back to Orlando, I just wanted a really nice little nook in my film space. I have little nooks all around. I also did like my creative art room recently. You can check that all over on the vlog. And I just wanted another little extension of me. And this feels like me. I love it. Comment below what your favorite book is because I might start a book club and we might read it next. Who knows? How long have I enjoyed reading? Do you guys remember AR reading? Those were the worst. I was always an Esau growing up and I was forbidden to read Harry Potter. <laughs> Hello, why was that? It definitely scarred me. Like my AR level wasn't on par. And that's just sad. Don't ever do that to a kid, okay? Schools, there's a lot in the school system we gotta fix. Matter of fact, I just recently started reading fiction, which is crazy. Like all of my books before were just nonfiction. I wanted to learn and apply and grow. And now I'm like, girl, just slow down a little bit. Let's enjoy some fiction and just escape into another world. As far as challenges, you sure read. So finding this was quite difficult. Another challenge was this window. So this little space has two windows. They're super cute and I love it because it brings a little bit of light into the room. It feels peaceful, but we didn't want to cover that up, right? So my dad actually ended up cutting out that piece. I don't know how he did it, but he is smart. He's amazing. So there you go. Now we have a little window where Dennis also was really adamant about me putting the cause statue there. Like, uh, I don't 
don't know if it's my vibe. We have cost hatches all over our house because he loves collecting them. Like, that's more your vibe. But he's like, no, this pink one would look so nice. And yes, I will give it to him. It looks very, very nice. It's like a little pop of color and it's holding another little cost statue. And it's really cute and personable. As far as this chair and the carpet, I ended up getting it from Old Joy. They have the cutest stuff. I just gotta say, it's totally my vibe. It just makes me happy and it's very comfortable too, so. But overall, the process of this, just seeing this come to life, like it was like my childhood dream. I was like, oh, it was so therapeutic. It was dreamy. It was beautiful. The worst part was organizing all the books, I must say. It's just a hassle. At first I was like, how am I gonna do this? Am I gonna do this by color? Am I gonna do this by title? Am I gonna do this by author? So honestly, I still have to organize this. You'll probably be seeing me do a follow-up. If you're interested in that, let me know. Give me some ideas on how I can organize this. I know some people do it by color and it looks fantastic. So in order to make it look more like appealing for me, I ended up putting some books to the left, then a little accent piece, and then I just, did the opposite. I'd put some books to the right, a little accent piece, then I'd repeat the same step to the left, an accent piece, and I think it gave it a really beautiful symmetrical look without looking like super cluttered. I'm still excited to go buy more books. The best part about building this library, so many. It was my childhood dream. I know I'm gonna keep saying it, but it was. It's just, this is a little nook in my house. I come here at night. I've started reading. I'll actually show you the book that I'm reading right now. Very different. If I ever really pick up graphic novels, this is Dancing at the Pity Party by Tyler Fitter. Fitter? Fitter? It's a dead on graphic memoir. Pretty cool stuff. Also, this is my cute bookmark that Cat Nip did for me. It's so cute. Check her out. Love her. I was captivated by this book because I wanted something that was like very easy to read, kind of like pick it up right now. But first of all, I was obsessed with the colors of it. Just pastel. I love everything pastel. Second of all, it's kind of funny, like a dead mom graphic memoir. Am I gonna laugh? Am I gonna cry? Am I gonna sob? Like, what is this? The pictures, the imagery is just so cute. It's all handwritten. It's very beautiful, very personable. And it's also just super easy. If you're wanting to get back into reading, I highly recommend a graphic novel because it's kind of like watching TV and you're doing less work. You're just kind of like, I really like this book. I'll let you guys know. So I ended up spending, I think like $250, which isn't bad, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really have a budget. I just wanted to go to the next level, purchase a ton of books that just spoke to me. I usually, what I do is I go on booktube. There's like a whole booktuber community people. It's really fun. And I love Ariel Bissett. She has great book recommendations. And yeah, I just have a ton of other favorite booktubers and I just kind of write a list. I take screenshots on my phone and then I go to the bookstore and buy them. I have been wanting this book, The Hating Game forever and I cannot find it anywhere. So I ended up shopping on Barnes and Noble. I'm also a Barnes and Noble Millionaire Book Club member, what? So I get 10% off, which is quite nice. <laughs> All right, my friends, so here are my book recommendations. I'm gonna start off with the books that I've read. The first one is by Hiroki Mur. Oh my God, this is literally, anyway, I feel awkward. <laughs> I feel like this is like my book club or something. Hey guys, welcome to Natalie's book club. I'm like, I don't even know where to start. The very first book I recommend for you to read is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Now this is a classic, people. It's obviously a fiction book. It's beautifully written. It's very poetic. It's very literature focused and it's all about vanity. And I think in a world where we are online and kind of on social media and everybody wants to look picture perfect. This has a really deep lesson within it. It's kind of dark, it's kind of mysterious, and pretty much, I just recommend it. <laughs> I read this maybe like three years ago and I'm definitely gonna give it another go just because it's just so beautifully written. Yeah, it's a classic, Oscar Wilde people. I just remember like falling in love with this book when I read it. This is definitely one of those, it's beautiful. The next book is The Wind A Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. Now Haruki Murakami is highly acclaimed Japanese writer and for good reason, okay? He literally writes about the most mundane things and makes it just sound so beautiful. I can't even explain to you this book, but Murakami's writing is absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend it. If you haven't read any of his books, it's gorgeous. This book is like 600 pages long, but it will fly by. I think I read like 200 the first day because I have no life. Ha, 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 the Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I think my favorite book I've read this year. It is obviously a fiction book. It's a love story. It's about a girl named Stella who has Asperger's, which is a kind of autism. And so she struggles in love. And so because she has no luck in love, she ends up hiring a escort. Yes, people. It's her story with Michael and how he kind of teaches her to love because as someone with autism, she doesn't really like to be touched. She has a lot of little things that make it tough for her to fall in love. It's freaking good. It's also very cultural enriching because it's about a Vietnamese and Swedish protagonist, which is really interesting. This book is XXX. It is dirty. It is sexy. There are a lot of scenes like that and I was just in love and just engrossed in it. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful love story, so I highly recommend 
comment if you're into that. Pick this one up. The title doesn't really give it like what it is. It's the kiss quotient because she's really good at math and stuff and it's just bomb. Just pick it up, okay? Promise. I promise you, you'll love it. And now for the haul of books that I hold. So the very first one is Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. Now this one, just right off the bat, Ariel Bissett was the one that recommended it and I love it. So it's just how to live your life with less social media, which I'm always trying to consume less of it. It teaches you ways to just focus and be more intentional with everything that you do and just different things that honestly don't cater to any success. So like for instance, like having notifications on at all time and getting distracted and maybe having that brilliant million dollar idea, but oop, your mama Sally just told you to come over and get some, you know, soup or something. It's a really great book. I've applied this many, many times and I actually listened to it, but I wanted to get it on physical because I love it. Good. The next one is the sequel to The Kiss Quotient. This is the same one by the author Helen Huang. They say that it's the sequel, but I don't really understand how because it is a new character, but I'm just excited. I loved her writing. If it's half as good as this, I will be happy. If it's half as sexy as this, I will be very happy. And this is also about somebody else that has autism, so Kai. And I'm very excited to read more about it. Da -da -da -da. This one is a classic, The Virgin. I have heard about this book so, so much, and I actually, just in the library, and I gazed upon this beautiful cover, just gorgeous, sophisticated. I don't know, something about the title just really... So the story goes that there are five sisters that pretty much commit one by one by one. If somebody would like to what that is. It is, I'm not really sure. That's pretty much all I know about it, but I'm very interested to learn about it. The whole premise of the story sounds very interesting to me. So I'm gonna read this one. This is a book that I'm currently reading. It's called One Day in December by Josie Silver. It is so good. So the story goes that a girl falls in love with a guy like at first sight and she's searching for this guy for an entire year with her best friend. And then she kind of gives up on it. And then one day her friend invites her over to meet her boyfriend and guess what? It's the guy. And so it's pretty much a story about two friends that love the same guy, except that her friend doesn't know that she loves him. And he also had a moment that day. So the story is told between the girl that found love, Lori, and also him. And it's very interesting. And it's kind of like, huh? So we're kind of learning along the way if he actually felt the same way that she felt about him. So far, it's really funny. The humor in it is really good. The story is based in London and it's just freaking great. It's witty, it's funny, it's really cute. The next one is Ready Player One. This is one that is, you know, it's a movie. Maybe you've already seen the movie, heard great, great things about it. Let me just tell you. It says, in the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. From my understanding, there's a man that builds this crazy machinery thing that is like a virtual reality, if you will. I might be saying this totally wrong, guys. I just picked up the book. And he leaves behind all of these puzzles and a, there's like a grand prize involved and it's this kid named Wade trying to figure out how to get that ultimate prize. And it just seems really cool. Also, I've heard there's a lot of, I think, 70s and 80s references. So I'm just, I'm all about it. Ready, excited. Get lost again in books and I encourage you to download the free printable book log down below. Click the link in my description. Another reason why I love books is because you get to learn. And speaking of learning, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. You guys, let me just show you something, okay? Do you see this? Homegirl did it. I'm taking the Procreate class by Kylie Bennett. It is sweet. It is amazing. You see, I've always been interested in like graphics and art and stuff like that. If you see my Instagram, I'm always collaborating with different artists. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like yourself and myself. You can explore new classes, develop new skills, nurture existing interests, and just get lost in creativity. Right now in these uncertain times, taking creative classes, really making yourself indispensable, or just even productivity classes if you've been very, very lazy. There's a ton over on Skillshare. It's a great thing to do during these times. This class had 12 different lessons, I believe, and it was only an hour and 30 minutes, and I've already learned so much. I'm on lesson nine. There's also drawing, journaling, and writing classes that can help you manage your stress a little bit better, feel a little bit more mindful during these times. Zen mode. Skillshare not only offers membership with meaning, it also allows you to connect with the support of fellow creators and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similar creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. Lucky for you, Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium memberships to the first 1,000 people that click my link in the description if you want to explore your creativity and anything else. And after that, it's just $10 a month. So be sure to check it out. I love Skillshare and I'm gonna go and take some classes right 
right now. So what did you guys think? Did you love my dream library? Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what is your favorite book? What is a book that you are currently reading or what is a book that you've been wanting to get yourself back into? Are you currently reading? Let me know down below what's going on in your life. I, I have just like fallen back in love with reading and it's the best thing ever. And I feel like this little corner just does more of that to me. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And for more of me, you can check me out on Instagram. You can also text me right over here. We can be texting reading buddies. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm sending you lots of love, good vibrations, lots of kisses through the screen. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.